can't believe it's been a year since we were commissioned as Stephen Ministers. It's been such an amazing experience. One that fills me with both gratitude and humility. We learned so much from our extensive training and we built great relationships with each other and we've deepened our faith to, I think, levels that we, we didn't imagine. It's just been great. But one of the other things that's been on my mind as we watch Stephen Ministry take root in our congregation is the type of culture that we want to create as a community. How does one create and nurture a culture that inspires members to share their vulnerabilities and allow themselves to be cared for? We're so accustomed in our society to being completely self-sufficient and keeping our troubles to ourselves that it's outside of our experience. One of my friends who was undergoing tra cancer treatment put it so well to me once and she said, it's so difficult to become the helpy when we're so used to being the helper. And I think that's especially true when you're talking about a Christian community because our faith is so rooted in caring for others. Ironically, even when we're convinced that receiving confidential Christian care is beneficial, we somehow convince ourselves that our particular problem or situation isn't worthy. We say things to ourselves like, oh, my problem's not as bad as so-and-so's, or it's short term, and it just doesn't seem big enough to get help. And I don't believe that. I think that every concern that we hold close to our hearts deserves compassion and care from another person. I really like West Vancouver United Church's value statement for Stephen Ministry. And it says, when life hurts, God does not want us to walk alone. And we all know that, but can we live it?